Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another math learning video. Our learning goal today is I can use tips and race to solve word problems. Our guiding question is how can I apply math to real world situations? So let's start with our strategies for word problem success. Our first strategy is to use tips to help you write and solve your equation. So T stands for thought. What is the operation that you will use? I stands for information. Identify the key terms and numbers in the problem. P is for problem. Write an equation, solve it, and show all of your work. And then S is for your solution. And I want you to race your solution and label the answer. Our second strategy for word problem success is to use race to make sure that your final answer is complete. So race starts with restating the question. You want to turn the question into a statement for the first part of your answer. A stands for answer the question. You want to answer all parts of the question and remember that the word problem may have more than one math problem or operation to work to correctly solve it. For C, you want to cite your source. Show all of your work with math, even the steps that you use to check your work. And then E is explain your response. So you want to use multiple sentences to tell um, the problem that you worked and how you got the answer. Remember, multiple sentences. This will help you make sure that you're getting a three on these word problems. So let's look at an example here. We have Joe and Sue who were baking cookies for a bake sale. Sue calculated that they had baked a total of 345 cookies. While they were baking cookies, they ate nine of the cookies that they had baked. Sue took the remaining cookies and put them in baggies in groups of one dozen. Write an expression and solve to figure out how many baggies Sue made for the bake sale. So let's look at what does quality work look like. A level one for this word problem would be I just don't know where to start. Maybe I tried, but I didn't know how to write the expression. A level two, maybe I got two expressions, so I kind of knew how to solve it and get an answer. So my answer is getting closer to complete. I may have needed help getting there, but I'm showing that I'm learning, I'm on the process, and I might have part of the answer correct. So for right here, it looks like this person has used tips because we have an answer, but it looks like they've really forgotten the race part of their example. So let's look at a level three for this word problem. This person has used tips. They have a problem that they're working. I can see that they've started to use race because here's their work for citing it. And then I've got an explanation down here. It starts with a restatement of the question. So Sue made 28 baggies of cookies for the bake sale. Restatement and answer right there. I know this because 345 minus the nine cookies that they eat equals 336. And 336 divided by 12, which is a dozen, equals 28. So Sue made 28 baggies that each contained 12 cookies. So for a level three, we're looking for getting the right answer. You've used tips to organize getting the expression together, and then you've used math vocabulary 
and um, written a race answer so that you've got details and you've really explained how you arrived at your answer. So let's look at another example of a word problem and how we can use tips and race to solve and get our level three. Okay, so in this example, we have Bobby who paid a total of $94 for two concert tickets. Each price included a $10 transaction fee for each ticket. Write an equation and solve to find the price of one concert ticket. So let's think tips. T is my thought. That's the operation I'm going to do. I think it's going to be two steps. The first one is going to be subtraction. The second one is division. Information that I have, I have $94 for two tickets. I know that they're, they each had a $10 transaction fee. And I want to know the price of one concert ticket. So P, my plot problem, I'm thinking that this is gonna be $94 is gonna be the first thing I'm gonna have to do. I want to subtract $10 for the first ticket. I've gotta do that first. Then I've got to subtract another $10. Oops, I don't need that one there yet. There we go. I've got to subtract another $10 for the second ticket. Now I really could have subtracted 20 at first but as your teacher, I wanted to model getting those brackets in there. And then I've got to take that total and divide by two to get the price of one concert ticket. And then a solution is to use race. So, Race, I'm going to start with restate. Put this over here so I know what I'm doing. Um, Bobby paid we need to know how much money for each ticket. So we've got to do some math here before we can finish that up. A is answer all parts. We've done that with our problem here. We've set ourselves up for success. C is that site. We've got to start doing the work. 94 minus 10 is 84 dollars minus ten dollars let's see that needs to be right here and then we divide it by two so 84 minus 10 is dollars 74 I can lose my parentheses because I have a sign. 
first. 74 divided by 2. 2 will go into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract 1. Bring down the 4. 2 will go into 14 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. 0. So equals dollar sign 30. Seven. Now we must check our work. So $37 times 2, 4, 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 74, plus $10 is 84, plus another $10 is 94. Our answer checks. So he paid $37 for each ticket. Okay, so I have restated. Let's see, I have restated. I have answered all parts because I just had to tell the price of one ticket. I have cited my work by showing all of this work over here. It is now time to explain how I know this answer. So Bobby paid $37 for each ticket. Um, I know this. Because 94 dollars minus 20 dollars in tickets fees that's our 10 here and our 10 here is 74 dollars I then took $74 divided by 2 equals $37. So let's wrap it up. Bobby paid dollar sign 37 for each ticket. And that is our race answer. We have explained. So let's go back to this level three. Did we write an equation? Yes, we did. Did we show all of our work? Yes, we did that too. We also used tips and race to write an answer. So let's look at making sure that you're really understanding the use of tips and the use of race. We will do some more practice in class. If you have questions, as always, come show me what you have done so far, and then I will be able to help you on your path to getting your level three or four. So this is the end of our video. I will see you next time. Have a great night.